come back to our channel. This is Sans Lectures to 5 6. If you've not yet yet, like, subscribe, and follow, please do so. So, we looked at the cell cycle. Uh, we said the cell cycle has two phases number one, interphase, and meta phase. And we said meta phase ends with cytokinesis. Cytokinesis. If you've not yet seen the video about the cell cycle, please do so. So, today we are going to look at cytokinesis. Nesis. So cytokinesis is, is the actual process by which the cell which the cell divides which the cell divides into two daughter cells into daughter cells and cytokinesis is different in animals different in animals and different in plants so the process by which cytokinesis happens in animals is different from the process by which cytokinesis happens in plants. And let us begin with cytokinesis in animals. So in animals, we said we ended our telophase by saying that there is formation of what we call a cleavage furrow. A cleavage furrow. A cleavage furrow. So a cleavage furrow at the old metaphase plate. 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 So we say during metaphase, the chromosomes align themselves at the metaphase plate. So that metaphase plate is where our cleavage furrow forms because it is in between the cell. So we say some chromatids some chromatids will move this side and some chromatids will move this. Side. Sorry. So in between is where we form a cleavage furrow. Then this cleavage furrow is associated with micro, micro filaments, microfilaments, microfilaments of actin, microfilaments of actin. On, and this actin are associated with myosin proteins, myosin proteins, myosin proteins, and these two. Form what we call a contractile ring. A contractile ring. A contractile ring. So what we see here surrounding the cleavage furrow, this area here is what we call a contractile ring. A contractile ring. A contractile ring. So what happens is this: this contractile ring has both actin and myosin. That means it can contract. And as it continues contracting and relaxing, contracting and relaxing, the cleavage furrow depends. The cleavage furrow depends. The cleavage furrow depends. The cleavage furrow depends. And when this cleavage furrow depends, it will reach, it will reach a point where it will have to separate, separate, the point where it will separate the cytoplasm. Separate the cyto. Plasm, and I will end up with two daughter cells. So this cleavage furrow, as this contractile ring goes on contracting and relaxing, contracting and relaxing, the cleavage furrow becomes more and more deep into the cytoplasm, and it will eventually lead to its separation, forming two daughter cells. So that is cytokinesis in animals. Then let us look at cytokinesis in plants. So in plants, during their G1 phase, uh, in fact, during their G2 phase, there is synthesis of a lot of uh, materials by the Golgi bodies. By the Golgi bodies. So the Golgi bodies will manufacture a lot, a lot of materials. We say the Golgi body manufactures materials and packages them in what we call vesicles. So, during cytokinesis, these vesicles that were originally manufactured by the Golgi bodies will move along the polar microtubules. They move along the polar microtubules until when they make it to the old metaphase plate. Until when they reach the old metaphase plate. The old metaphase plate. So, 
this this side they will be coming and this side, they shall be coming from this side and they shall be coming from this side so when they reach in between at the old mega phase plate they will fuse they will fuse they will fuse they will fuse fuse this one shall fuse here this one shall also fuse here they will fuse so when they reach at the old metal phase plate, the vesicles are and basically these vesicles shall contain what carbohydrates, eh? carbohydrates, carbohydrates. So when they reach at the old metal phase plate, they fuse together to form the cell wall. Form the cell wall. So they fuse. These ones fuse here. They form a cell wall here. They also form a cell wall here. These ones shall also fuse. Form a cell wall. However, the fusion is not uniform. They will leave some spaces, and these spaces shall later form what they call the plasmodesmata. They form the plasmodesmata. So, when these vesicles fuse here, they form the cell wall. The cell wall shall continue to grow to change from the primary cell wall to the secondary cell wall. The secondary cell wall, as we see, as we saw in our series of cell organelles, the various components of the cell wall. So, I repeat, during uh, the interface, the Golgi body manufactures a lot of vesicles, which vesicles are rich in carbohydrates. During cytokinesis, these vesicles move along the polar microtubules, the polar microtubules, and fuse at the old metaphase plate. The fusion is not uniform and they will leave some spaces which later form the plasmodes matter connection. While we saw in animals, there is formation of the cleavage furrow at the old metal phase plate. The cleavage furrow is surrounded by the contractile ring. The contractile ring contains actin and myosin proteins. So these two shall continue contracting and relaxing, thereby deepening the cleavage furrow. Then this cleavage furrow shall eventually pinch the cytoplasm, separating it into two daughter cells. And that is all it about cyto.